Hello everybody. I wanted to make this quick video today just to address some of the questions I've been getting in regard to the 21 day fix and how I can say that I don't support quick fixes and fad diets yet I promote the 21 day fix. It's a valid question and I wanted to make sure that I addressed it um, because here's the thing, I definitely do not support quick fixes. Um, crash diets, they don't work. Um, not eating at all does not work. Juice fasts for the purposes of dropping a lot of weight in a short period of time don't work. There are reasons to juice, reasons to fast um, beyond just trying to lose weight. But let's be serious, most of the time when we do those crash diets, it's because we want to lose weight, but we really don't want to put in a lot of work to do it, and we want to see results quick, right? So they don't work because you're not learning anything. You're not learning about the reasons and the, the ways that you got to where you were in the first place. That's why it doesn't work. It's going to give you results um, quickly, which in our day and age, we're, we want immediate results. So it works for us. We don't want to wait. We want to see things happen right now. Unfortunately though, statistically, the people that lose weight quickly like that, put it back on. And it's because they don't understand what happened to get there in the first place and what they actually needed to fix to get out of that place. So that's why they don't work. Now, why do I promote the 21 day fix? It's claiming that you can be an amazing shape in 21 days. Let me put it this way. There's different levels of weight loss um, that people are striving for. Okay, some people are starting um, in a journey where they're morbidly obese. And some people only have 5, 10, 15 pounds to lose. Maybe they actually even just want to tone up, uh, get some definition. They don't really necessarily want to lose any weight. So there's a whole spectrum of weight loss that's out there. Now what the 21 day fix does is it teaches you how to eat clean in the proper portions. And that's why I promote the 21 day fix because it's not a quick weight loss scheme if you want to call it that. What it's doing is it's preparing you to go forward after your 21 days and take the habits that you've learned and, and apply them to your life going forward. So once your 21 day fix is over, that's not the end, especially if you have a significant amount of weight loss to lose. The reason that I really like the 21 day fix as opposed to some other plans that are out there is because the plan as a whole is promoting unprocessed, clean, whole food. And, un and processed food is part of the reason that we are where we are. I am super guilty of relying on processed food, even now not as bad as I once was. I've come leaps and bounds, but I do a lot of the time still rely on processed food. It's a continuous work in progress because we live in this society that makes processed food easy to get. It's quick. We're super busy and that just, it works for our lifestyle. The, this program, however, teaches you to get out of that habit. It teaches you how to rely on whole, food in its natural state, to not have to load it down with cheese and all these things that's causing the problems that we're having epidemically, diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, these things are pretty much common in our society and it's really sad because it's like a slow death. Our food is like a slow death. Seriously, I've been there. I, I You know, like I said just a minute ago, I'm still a lot of the time in that position. So, um... I like the 21 day fix because it teaches you to get out of those habits. And even if you're not doing it overnight, which you won't, you will not do it overnight. It's not going to be an overnight process. It's not even going to be a 21 day process. I can promise you that if you have a small amount of weight to lose, let's say 5, 10, 15 pounds, you could easily lose that weight within those 21 days, but you're not done learning. I suggest that you go right into another round of the 21 day fix and continue to learn about what foods and in what portions are going to continue to make you feel amazing. 
because it's not all about losing weight, guys. Losing weight is a domino effect of fixing other problems that we have, but it's not all about losing weight. There's skinny people out there that have major health problems, high blood pressure and diabetes. There's skinny people that have diabetes, you know, not talking type, type one, you know, we're talking type two here, but um, because of their unhealthy eating habits. It's not just the obese that have these problems. So as an overall health, from, from an overall health perspective, we could all benefit from eating whole, clean foods in their correct portions because we do not know what portions are. We don't know what portions are. When we go to restaurants, they're probably two, three, sometimes four times the amount of the portion that we actually need. And that's scary because that's what we're conditioned to eat from kids. So long story condensed into one, one small summary. I support the 21 day fix because it's not a 21 day and you're done journey. What it's doing is teaching you habits that will last you beyond the 21 days if you put in the work. Part of the problem is no one wants to put in the work. They want to give up before they've even started because it looks like they're going to have to make a little bit of an effort. Guys, it's going to take a little bit of an effort to undo habits and undo weight and undo health problems that have taken years to accumulate. It will take time and you have to be patient with yourself and know that it is going to take that time. You're going to fail. You are going to fail. It's going to happen. You're going to make a mistake. You're going to you know, succumb to a temptation. It will happen. You're human. You're not perfect. It's about making progress. It's not about being perfect because even the most fit people out there, I promise you are not perfect. It's just the truth, but they've learned to think of food as fuel versus whatever comfort or something to do when you're bored. Overall, we have an unhealthy relationship with food. So if we can develop a better relationship with food, learn how good clean food makes us feel, it makes you feel light and good and energetic and happy, there's something that changes when you put good food in your body. And that's what The Fix is teaching you about. That's why I love it. That's why I eat from my containers. Because guess what guys, even fruit, you can overeat. It's easy to overeat fruit. Now if you're gonna overeat something, it should be fruit or veg before candy. But if you're really trying to get results, even fruit, you can overeat. It, you can. So it's teaching even me, you know, someone who is a vegetarian doesn't eat meat, but I still need to eat in the proper portions. It's very important to still eat in the proper portions if I want to see the results that I want to see and keep myself healthy. And that's another reason I incorporate Shakeology into my diet. It keeps me healthy. It replaced my multivitamin. I don't have to swallow a pill every single day. It's allowed me to transition off of coffee where now I only have it as a treat and not a necessity because I'm filled with energy. It's regulated my digestion problems to the point where I don't have to worry about how my food is affecting my body anymore like I used to. So there's a reason that I've chosen the, the plan that I've chosen. I recommend it to the people that I love and the people that I wanna help because it works. If you put in the work, it'll work for you because it's effectively teaching you habits and that's where a lot of the time we fall off. So I hope that helps to explain to you how on one side I can say I don't support crash diets and then on the other side I tell you to do the 21 day fix. I hope that helps you to understand the difference between the two and why I think it's an amazing program. And if you're interested in going forward and trying out the 21 day fix, um, just contact me and you can do so because I have um, groups starting every Monday um, to help you get through the process. This journey is much more of just an individual journey. It's a, it's a social journey and it helps to have accountability and partnership and motivation from those who are also going through the same um, experiences as you are. So that's the reason that I host these groups every week um, because I do find it very important to have that accountability and other people who can relate to you and who can motivate you and keep you on track when you're feeling like you want to fall off. So please contact me um, if you have any questions, if you want inf more information, if you want to look at joining one of the accountability groups. I'm happy to plug you in whenever you're ready and I'm excited to help you on your journey as I continue on mine. This is a team effort and I just wanna lock arms with you and help you to get through yours as you help me to get through mine and we can end you know, on, a, um, on an amazing 
uh, high knowing that we now have all these tips that we can pass along to those of us around th those around us that we love and we care about and we want to help that's the, that's really the ultimate goal if you get knowledge and you don't share it with other people it's a waste there's no point in getting knowledge if you're not going to pass it forward that's just my opinion so please contact me if you want more information or want to leave me any comments or feedback or whatever uh, just let me know and uh, have a great day and be healthy bye